Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Nick and recently I've been doing a lot of updates with stimulus and unemployment and keeping everyone updated with all the craziness going on. And obviously a lot of people are struggling, which is why we're going over in this video, making money in quarantine. So many people don't have jobs, so obviously they want to try to make more money and not wait around for the government because we got to do something on our own and we're going over 10 different ways how you could start making money in quarantine so you could start paying bills, mortgages, food, just anything during this time of crisis. I will leave timestamps in the description if you want to jump around so it kind of has a little bit of everything for everyone. Let's go. So number one, of course, I'm an investor guy. I got to mention it. You could invest. So if you do have money, you could make money on your money. And you could do this with capital gains and stocks. You could get dividends. So if you own a stock, you get dividends from the company. And if you're looking for a little bit more risk return, you could even get into options. Options. A lot more risky. I recently started playing around with them. Just realized like my first option the next day dropped by 50%. But then the next day I ended up being up 20%. So it varies drastically. Start with a small amount. The market is arguably overvalued. So be careful when you start investing. However, you can get free shares. I have a couple different links in the description, whether it's from Webull or Robinhood. If you sign up, link your bank account, you could get free stocks. So very quick money. I get a couple shares, you get a couple shares. And if you're not willing to like hold it for the long term, you could simply just register, sell out like the next day, and you get free money that way. That's probably what I would do, especially in this market. I'm not a financial advisor. Remember to do your research. Well, what if you don't have money because you're unemployed now? Well, the rest of these are how you could actually start making money if you don't have money on the side. So moving on to number two is providing a service, especially right now. We're in a crisis. We're in a recession and a lot of people are struggling and they need help. So you can use that to your advantage to help them. You have to see what they need and if you're able to provide that service to them, overwhelmingly they would get your service because it assists them, especially in these hard times. And a service is a great way to make money, especially right now, because a service doesn't necessarily mean you need money up front. You provide your service to assist someone. And of course, that would require you to actually think of what service that could be, and that could range across everything. One huge example I know a lot of people are struggling to do is childcare. That could be a huge service because people don't know what to do. They have to tutor their kids. They have to keep up with school, and they don't know how because they have to work from home. So if you're able to provide that service, that could help them tremendously. Moving on to number three, we talked about services, but now what about products? You could actually sell items. Now one, you could obviously sell your old stuff that you don't need anymore so you can make a few extra bucks. Or similar to number two, a lot of people are requiring something right now. We're in a crisis. So if you're able to actually help them by selling an item, that could help them as well. And they would be more than willing to actually buy that item again because we're in a crisis and they need assistance. So honestly, with this idea, don't really focus on like making money, but if you're able to help someone, if you're able to provide something for that person, then that could then fuel these ideas. This might require a little bit of capital. If, it, if you're selling old items, you, you already have them, you don't have to buy them. Or you could build something or make something, so it might be a little bit cheaper that way. I know one huge thing a lot of businesses are capitalizing on, I'm seeing a lot of commercials, are these face masks. People have to wear them, so people are providing them. Moving on to number four, we have to think bigger. So we talked about like services and products just before, but when you're able to provide something for someone, especially right now, you can grow this idea so you could actually start a business. So I want us to start thinking of like, instead of just selling a couple things or doing a couple things for like temporarily, you could grow this into an actual 
business. They need your help and if you're there to provide it, you can grow and heck, if you are unemployed, if you're able to do this correctly and make sure everyone's being helped, then you could continue this business and you might not need a job later on. Obviously easier said than done, but that idea is definitely a big one. Number five, of course, I have to add in there is you could create a YouTube channel. Most channels, you really don't need much, maybe like a camera or whatever, but it's free. It's providing a service, but online. And most importantly, you can help people again during this crisis. So instead of just locally, you could expand whatever you're trying to do online. It could get regionally, it could get worldwide, and that could be a great start for you. Take my channel for instance, I've been updating people of what's going on and trying to help them along the way. And those views have been skyrocketing because people need this help. So if you're able to provide that, they will watch. And you get ad revenue if you have referral links and everything like that. This could be a great start for a channel. Number six, I know it's extremely iffy right now because we are in lockdown and quarantine and so many businesses are just shutting down either temporarily or forever, but this could be a good career advancement time. So yes, people are going crazy because they are unemployed. So that's the negative view on it. But if we look at the positive view, a lot of people actually stay in their jobs for an extremely long amount of time and they don't progress. Unemployment right now is extremely motivating to continue that progression in your career. So yes, this actually might be limited to the actual opportunities out there, but there are some. So definitely don't knock this out, start looking now. You know, you can kind of see both sides of the argument where there's a lot of unemployment, so there might be a lot of competition but everything's still in lockdown and people are still trying to like figure out what they have to do. So if you actually are stronger and push ahead to actually start applying, you could actually stand out and be the person not to only like maintain your level of career, but also advance it, move up the ladder. Again, more easier said than done, but is possible. I went through a job interview right now, so people are still looking. And I would honestly rather do it now rather than when things start opening back up because that's going to be a flood of competition. Number seven is obviously a huge one right now because no one could leave. So what does that lead you to do? Virtual everything. There are tons amount of virtual assistants out there. You are still able to, again, provide really anything to your imagination to help people virtually. If you're able to tutor, online, IT services, customer service, a lot of things, especially after this is most likely going to expand their virtual existence. So if you're able to do that now, this could help you a lot. Number eight could slip a lot of people's minds, especially right now, but you could open up new bank accounts or credit cards. Of course, do this wisely. However, we could understand there are a lot of cash bonuses for these different things. I know a couple months ago, I opened up like a Discover savings account. You deposit a certain amount and you're able to get a couple hundred bucks. That's a lot better than nothing. Also some checking accounts with some other banks. So if you just transfer banks, you could get up to, I mean, I think the highest I've seen was like $500. Now that does require like direct deposit and everything. So that's like literally moving everything over. Is that more of a hassle than a convenience? That's really up to you. However, there is still that bonus out there. Same thing with credit cards. If you open up a new credit card, you spend a certain amount in the first maybe 90 days, you could get a couple hundred bucks. Again, wisely. Remember to pay all the balances off and make sure you don't get any extra fees this way. But if you do do this wisely and make sure everything's set up correctly, you can get some extra money. Number nine is a little bit of a reach, but this doesn't require much work and some people might have some money there. So number nine is unclaimed funds. Sometimes you have just funds somewhere that you forgot about and they're still owed to you. So you're actually able to look up this on your state website. You're able to put in your information to see if anything is owed back to you. 
Again, it's a little bit of a reach. Some people might not owe you a dime, but it's always good to check. It takes like a couple minutes. And especially right now in this crisis, we would rather scrounge up anything we possibly can right now. And if you did stick around to the end, I really appreciate that because I just thought of a bonus to really go over and I think it's really important. But before that, number 10 is scrap metal. So this is really talking about scrounging up some money. However, it is possible. You are able to scrap, no, whether it's like steel, copper, or really anything. I mean, I guess it does depend if like the scrap yards actually open at this point. It is pretty labor intensive to actually get all of this scrap, but you are able to make some couple extra dollars on the side. I actually did this as a kid. I remember driving around and seeing like a bunch of people's TVs out on the street. So I just picked them up, stripped it of like copper and ended up scrapping the copper. Again, wanted to keep all of this various so this could kind of, at least hopefully, reach out to a lot of people. And the big bonus that I will always incorporate in basically any financial video that I have is you have to look at your cash flow. So no matter what happens, you have to compare your income to your expenses and the difference between them is what you really have to play with. So to maximize that cash flow, you would need to increase your income, which we just talked about, but also to decrease your expenses, to save as much as you can during this crisis. So hopefully that helped you out guys. If you have any additional to add to this list, definitely let us know. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below in the comment section, I greatly appreciate that. And before we go, don't forget to subscribe. I'm keeping everyone up to date of what's going on everywhere with all the stimulus, unemployment, and to understand this, but also to help people out of how to navigate through this crisis like this topic here. Hopefully this helped you out a bit. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.